So I had to redo my logo, I had to rebrand my car, change all my business cards, uh, change stuff on my website. I'd had a French or an English video on the French side and that didn't fly with them, so I had to change that. So a bunch of little things had to change. I removed some of my signage in my store that was maybe too English for them. And, um, and that's it, here we are now. They've left me alone, they followed up several months ago maybe in the summer and asked where I was and I said I'd made the change and they said they'd send somebody in and they never did. I was a little surprised only because when I registered my name I was, al I was allowed to register the name as it was. So I have a lot of support from people from all over. It's not just the locals in Point Claire Village that come in and have heard about it. It's people that have driven from downtown just to come and talk to me and say hey I heard your story and wow we feel for you and it's you know an awful thing that's happening to all the entrepreneurs. Everyone's just trying to make money and it's you know it's, it's it's just making life a bit more difficult for your for businesses especially young entrepreneurs that are trying to kind of fight with the big leagues here so uh, a lot of support from a lot of French people here in the neighborhood saying you know just because we're French doesn't mean we stand behind what's going on here support is coming from both sides so that's been really nice it's really the community here really kind of stands behind uh, all the businesses, so it's it's been really nice. What I'm having a hard time with is more and more when you hear them going into businesses and asking them to remove signs that are just part of the regular decor of your store. Be them in English, in French, in Italian, Spanish, German, doesn't really matter. It's part of your design and decor of your store and I have a hard time sort of accepting the fact that they want us to remove those signs. I think we all have a right to sort of um, have whatever we want in our store. It's, you know, uh, and generally I don't think the public is going to have any issues with, you know, your vintage sign that says keep calm and eat a cupcake. When I, when I went in and started fighting my battle at first because I did sort of fight it and, and I was a little angry. They asked for a lot of changes which were going to cost me a lot of money to do so of course I, I was fighting it at first um, and basically it's you know one government doesn't talk to the other government so one allows you to do one thing yet the other one doesn't so know your rights. I kind of went into it I guess a little bit naive and I didn't look into it like I should have and I guess stand behind your values. So I have my English signs up. Until they come in and tell me otherwise, I'll keep my English signs up. We must have been here over the years at least 15 times. We all started around 1984 uh, when the OLF came in and was upset with our signs for being bilingu bilingual and not the French being three times the size of the English. Since then, we've never changed our signs. We've remained bilingual and uh, they keep coming back and they keep harassing us. Um, as long as I own this store, I'm not changing my signs. To me, an Anglophone customer it has the same equal rights as a Francophone customer. You can't tell me that a Francophone customer is three times better than an Anglophone. Until then, that I will keep my signs bilingual. We also have 40 odd languages on our door saying uh, welcome. They did not like those because, again, they were the same size as the French. Again, since 85, the signs are still there. I have not removed them, nor will I. Somehow, the first couple of court cases, the judges found ways to throw the cases out of court, and we have not been fined a penny as of yet. I just can't see them fining me or putting me in jail for being bilingual. We're just letting them do their thing. I'm taking care of my customers. and. To me, it's a non-issue. We are remaining bilingual. If I'm in a good mood, I speak to them in French, as my mother tongue is French. I was born in Belgium. If I'm one of those moods, I may talk to them in Yiddish or in Hebrew, or just ignore him and not speak to them. He, they drives them crazy when I only talk to them in English. 